The man on stage is Principal Andrew Crowley. He usually comes on stage to end the art show. This year, things were going to be a little bit different. Behind the leadership of one particular student, hundreds of current students, former students, and the entire RHS community thought it would be appropriate tonight to say thank you to Mr. Pat Bruce. Mr. Bruce, can you want to say the excitement began when Principal Crowley brought a surprised and confused Mr. Grills on stage. Before things went totally ballistic, I made a surprise visit to keep things in perspective. The man in the chair in there, he taught us to wake up, look in the mirror, and love ourselves each and every day. He's given so much to us, and now I think it's time for us to give something back to him. Finally, I gave the mic to Alex Weldy and he broke the news everyone was anxiously awaiting to hear. Mr. Grills, for the past year, the community has been working on something special for you. We like to call it the Pat Grills Fund. Our purpose was simple. We, the students, wanted to raise $10,000 to send you to Europe to witness the fine art and amazing beauty that is Europe. 210 days to do it, and after two fundraisers, 30 faculty donations, 206 individual donations from family, friends, students, and alumni, with 5,583 emails and 15,483 web hits. <laughs> we did it. So, it is at this time that I would like to present you, Mr. Patrick H. Grills, mentor, friend, and teacher, with a check for $10,000 to see all the amazing things that you have been teaching us for so long. Even amidst the pandemonium, Mr. Grills took a second to say a word. I don't think I would ever let anybody get the last word in, but let me see what I can do. <laughs> Words cannot express what, what this means to me. And I, at first I want to kind of fuss at you because you know how bad the economy is. <laughs> we could do something really good with this money. But, uh, you know, this has been a dream of of mine for a long time and uh, you know maybe in about 15 years my wife and I could go and um, I, I, this, is, this is a dream come true and I, I don't know how I'm going to thank, thank each one of you but I'm going to do my darndest to try and uh, I guess this means I, I guess I understand now why the press is here <laughs> and, uh, about 400 of my former students are here <laughs> This is, uh, uh, this is the fourth greatest night of my life. The first being married to my wife and the other having my two girls. But uh, I, words cannot express what this means. Thank you so much. But that was when I ruled the world. Actually, kind of like a second father to me. He deserves even more than that. And it's still, in my opinion, and I think they can all agree that it's just not enough to give it back. Because of him, I actually feel like I can do something. It was one of the greatest rewards for a man who's given so much back to the community. How do you feel right now, Mr. Grills? I got shocked. You're in shock? I'm totally in shock. 